Welcome back to biology class. In the previous class, we discussed the path of blood circulation. But in some conditions, heart is not able to function properly. In today's class, we will discuss these conditions related to the functioning of the heart. First is palpitations. A heart palpitation is a sensation by a person that they are having hard, rapid or irregular heartbeats or a combination of these sensations. The patient may show the following symptoms, shortness of breath, dizziness, chest pain, fainting. Palpitation can be caused due to vigorous physical activity taking cold, cough or asthma medications, hormonal changes, fever, strong emotions like stress and anxiety, etc. Ever feel like your heart is racing or like it skipped a beat? You may be experiencing heart palpitations, which can feel like your heart is beating too fast, pumping too hard or fluttering. Usually lasting only a few seconds, they can also be felt in your throat, neck, or chest. And while they might seem a little scary, they're usually harmless. Lots of things can trigger heart palpitations, like anxiety, medications, or strenuous exercise. You could be at a greater risk of getting them if you're pregnant, stressed out, or have an overactive thyroid. If you have heart palpitations, schedule a checkup soon. In some cases, they may be the sign of a more serious condition, like an irregular heartbeat. If you also have dizziness, chest pain, or shortness of breath, get emergency medical treatment right away. Unless you have an underlying heart condition, you probably won't need any treatment. Just do your best to avoid the triggers that cause your palpitations. Stay away from stimulants like caffeine, nicotine, and energy drinks. And try meditation, yoga, or deep breathing to reduce your stress or anxiety. Next condition is cardiac arrest. A cardiac arrest happens when a person's heart stops pumping blood around the body. It is an emergency condition. The person collapses suddenly, does not breathe properly and is unresponsive. Although cardiac arrest can happen to anyone anytime, but some people are at high risk. The risk factors for sudden cardiac arrest are people with personal or family history of coronary artery disease, heart attack or poor heart function, recurrent chest pain or fainting spells during physical exertion, smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, diabetes and excessive alcohol consumption. Hello, I'd like to tell you about... <clears throat> oh, who didn't expect that? Hey, sudden cardiac arrest occurs when the heart stops beating properly. Sudden cardiac arrest is an electrical problem caused by an abnormality in the heart's electrical system. The heart's pumping action is disrupted and the heart can't pump blood to the brain, lungs and other organs. Seconds later, the victim collapses suddenly, appears lifeless and is not breathing or is abnormally gasping for air. You may see several seconds of seizure-like symptoms. Hello? Mm, not true. Cardiac arrest can happen to anyone, anywhere, anytime. Although more commonly seen in those who have heart disease, cardiac arrest can also strike those with no history of heart problems at all and can be caused by recreational drug use, electrocution, or even a sudden blow to the chest. Sudden cardiac arrest is the leading cause of death in many countries, and its survival rate is less than 1% worldwide. No, cardiac arrest is not the same as a heart attack. Think of a heart attack as a plumbing problem. It occurs when blood flow to the heart is blocked. Victims of a heart attack are still conscious and may complain about symptoms such as shortness of breath or discomfort in the chest. In contrast, cardiac arrest victims need help right away. Every minute without help means the chances of survival drops by 7 to 10 percent. That leaves only a golden survival window of only 10 precious minutes. Children, very commonly, you must have heard the word high blood pressure. This is also called hypertension. It is a condition 
when the pressure of the blood being pumped through your arteries is higher than it should be. Hypertension is often called the silent killer. It is caused due to stress and anxiety, excessive consumption of alcohol, smoking and can also be genetic. When your heart beats, it pumps blood round your body. As the blood moves, it pushes against the sides of the blood vessels. The strength of this pushing is your blood pressure. As your heart pumps, the flow of blood in your arteries and your blood pressure rises and falls in a regular wave pattern. Blood pressure is shown as two numbers. The top number, or systolic pressure, is the pressure when your heart beats. The bottom number, or diastolic pressure, is the pressure when your heart relaxes. Healthy blood vessels can stretch to allow for these changes in pressure. Damaged blood vessels are less stretchy, which increases blood pressure. Constant high blood pressure puts extra strain on your heart and blood vessels. Over time, this increases your risk of a heart attack or stroke. It can also cause problems for your eyes and kidneys. High blood pressure speeds up the process of atherosclerosis, where fatty streaks form inside the arteries. If one of these cracks, it can cause a blood clot in your arteries. This is what causes a heart attack or stroke. In today's class, we have discussed the symptoms and causes of some heart conditions like palpitation, cardiac arrest and hypertension. Thank you children and take care of yourself.